guys, um, so my hair may look a bit crazy just now, um, but on a whim I have decided to go blonde. Um, if you can see my hair, it is obviously going to be a challenge. Um, I've actually just dyed my hair in the car while waiting for Michael to um, finish work. So just use this Live XXL um, Maximum Lightening up to 8 shades. Um, the Max Blonde one and I've got, I'll show you what I've got, I've got two of these, I've just used one just now um, but it's not really like saturated my hair so I don't really think it will do a lot but hey ho. So I bought that, I've got this one to do afterwards because this definitely won't lift my hair because my hair is pretty strong. Um, I also have another bleach at home if I need it and then I might actually need another one, um, depends how well these lift. Um, I've got this to go over it and it is the Natural Ultralight Ash Blonde. A sheer blonde, the tone correcting conditioner, which has got just a hint of purple in it. A what's John Frieda Fill Repair Deep Conditioner, because I will definitely need this after all the bleaching and hair dyes that I'm going to be planning to put on. And I've got this Provoke Touch of Silver. So, yes, um, I'll see you once I've washed this off. My hair um, after the first lightener. Um, it's definitely missed a lot, but I'm actually pretty happy with how much it's lifted. Oh my god, that more bike. Um, it's lifted a lot and my hair does not feel frazzled one bit, so that's always good. Um, look at my roots. But yeah, I've not put on any toner yet because... Oh my god, I've not put on any toner yet because I just didn't really seem like there was any point because I don't know whether I'm going to do this tonight or I'm going to let my hair rest and do it tomorrow but I'm going to do this again and any bits that that leaves I'm going to use the bleach that I've got downstairs because I've only got a little tub of it. Yes I have decided to do the second of the Live XXL on the same night so <laughs> my hair's going to hate me but yeah, it's just going to try and get all these dark bits as much as I can and then I'll definitely, I think I'll tone it um, with the purple shampoo and do some deep conditioner on it. So that's it washed out. Um, I left the first lightener on for 40 minutes and then the second one on for 25 minutes. Um, there's still obviously a lot of brown shampoo is on. <laughs> So this is my hair after the second lightning and Lars crying. Um and I tried to put silver that like purple shampoo in it and I left it for 15 minutes um and then I washed it out and used the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Colour Renew Tone Correcting Conditioner. It's got a hint of like bluey purple in. But um my hair is still bright yellow, but at least it's not orange just now. Um so it's the same night. <laughs> I just can't help myself. My hair feels in such good condition. Like seriously doesn't feel damaged whatsoever. I think it's because I've not used a harsh bleach yet. Um, <laughs> but I just kind of want it done now. So I'm going in with this L'Oreal Perfect Blonde Highlight Kit. Um, I'm obviously not going to be using it as a highlighter. I'm going to be using it as a bleach. Um, and just putting on all the brown spots, especially like underneath and like any like darker bits and then I'll try and put the other hair dye on tomorrow or I might even do it tonight. Who knows? Who knows? So that's me put on the full on bleach. Um so yeah this is what would kill my hair if anything is going to kill my hair. So yes yeah, so I'm gonna leave well it says about 25 to 40 minutes so I think I'm gonna leave it on about half an hour um and then take it off and see where we're going from there. So I left the bleach in for 20 minutes. Um, my hair still has brown bits and still, but I'm, I'm not bothered anymore. Um, my hair still feels in really good condition, but probably because it's um, still wet, so it feels conditioned. Um, I'm just about to use this. It is Focus, focus, focus. I'm not going to focus. Um, natural Ultra Light Ash Blonde. Um, I'm going to put this on, but I think this will be too light for my skin tone because I, I don't think I would suit like platinum blonde hair. Um, just, just dried my hair. Look how 
hopefully yellow hair looks on me. Um, but yes, it's now to a colour that should be really good. It still feels really soft, but it's just a lot frizzier than usual. So yes, just going to add this and leave it on for four to five minutes and then I'll show you the result tomorrow. So hello guys. Um, so yes, last time I left you, I'd just done the bleach, I think. Um, yeah, I washed that out and then I put in a deep conditioner and I just put so much in my hair, like half a tub in my hair and then um, put a towel on and just slept with it all night just, just to make sure it was going to be okay. In the morning, um, I washed off with the purple shampoo and after that I was like, oh yeah, I'll be able to just like rock this for like a few days before I dye my hair again. Went out to Tesco's and <laughs> in the sunlight it was bright yellow. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not going to be able to do this. So um, I picked up two, okay, two of these, um, the Natural Medium Ash Blonde from Nice and Easy. Um, and it has actually really like neutralised a lot of the hair colour. I'm still looking a bit ginger though, so I'm doing the second one now <laughs> in a row. So yes, I'm doing two hair dyes in a row, but it's not as bad as yesterday. And hopefully this should be it. <laughs> I say this with um <sighs> with having So this is my hair finished with the dyeing. Um is that the colour that I think suits my skin tone? Um, I might put some highlights through it at another day, but definitely not now. Um, so yes, yeah, just need to tone it. So this isn't the end of it. Um, I just need to tone it so all this gingerness is out. But apart from that, yeah.